Hey guys, Hoppy Hunting here. So today I'm back at the creek site and it's been about a week since the hurricane hit the area. So I'm hoping all the rain will have washed out some fossils and they'll be laying out for me. So I just got to the creek and right now I'm just walking the banks, but if I don't find anything that way, I did bring a shovel and sifter. So I'll try to find some teeth by digging. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a little hot, but I have a lot of shade. So I'm really excited to find some fossils. Let's go. First tooth of the day over here in the water. See it? Nice. Beautiful Hestalis. Wow, look at the color. And it's sharp. Man, what a start. Beautiful tooth. It's not a fossil, but I think this is a colonial pipe. Yeah. Wow, I've never found one this big. That's pretty cool. Looks like a piece of bone. Yep. It's normally a good sign. Usually where there's bone, there are teeth too. Another Hestalis on this creek bed. Wow. That one's really nice. Just look at all this gravel. It's a huge gravel bar. There's gotta be some teeth here. Just a little carcharinus in the water. Again, that's a good sign. Fish for it. Yeah. Cool. I've walked pretty far up the creek now, and there's this big piece of bone. That's a very good sign. Maybe there will be some big teeth too. I just came across an awesome tooth. I've already found two really nice Hestalis today, but I guess it's just a Hestalis kind of day. <laughs> Look at this. There it is. Oh, yeah. Wow. What an awesome tooth. Sweet. No more than 10 feet away from that other Hestalis. Looks like another one. It's missing the tip, but it's still nice. This looks like a bone. Oh yeah, it's an ear bone. Cool. It's a whale ear bone. I actually just got my first one of these this week. <laughs> now I have two. Awesome. Another tooth. Yet another Hestalis. <laughs> Looks like a little hemi. Hey guys, so I walked pretty far up the creek and I think I'm about to turn around and head back the other way. The water is lower than it was when I got here, so hopefully I'll be able to find some stuff that was underwater when I came up. So I've found a ton of bone fragments so far and not too many teeth, but a few really nice ones. But a lot of these gravel bars should be a little more exposed now since the water has gone down, so I might be able to find more. There's a vert here in the bank. Cool. Oh, the epiphysis is slightly broken off. That's really cool. Wow. Don't exactly know what this is. It looks like either a piece of turtle shell or possibly a crocodile osteoderm, but I'll have to get it identified. I don't know how I missed this on the way up but look at this cow shark tooth. Oh. oh, nice. Wow. That is 
beautiful. Sweet. Looks like a really nice dolphin tooth. Wow, that's beautiful. Man, that is cool. Awesome little dolphin tooth. Looks like a good sized sand tiger. I'm not sure if it's whole. Ooh, I guess it is. Might actually be a Mako. No, it's a sand tiger. I think. Man, that is nice. Yeah, I think it's a Mako, because the root. But it does have little cusps. Makos can have that sometimes, though. That is really nice. Looks like another broken Hestalis. Yeah, it's missing the root. Cool. It's got a cool pattern. Just spotted another cow shark tooth. Right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Killer. At this point, I think I'm losing count of how many Hestalis I found today. There is yet another one. Hey guys, I just got back to the kayak and I tried sifting for a while. I went through maybe 20 or 30 screens and only found one tiny tooth, so it wasn't really worth it. So I think I'm about ready to call it a day and head back to the launch point. Hey guys, I'm back home, and here's everything that I found today. Let's start here with a very unexpected find. When I picked this up and put it in my bag, I thought it was just another bone. But when I got home and I was cleaning everything off, I noticed the enamel here. It's actually part of a giant megalodon tooth. This would have been an absolute beast. You can see where the borelette would have been. Here's the root, and there's part of the enamel. Just to give you a better idea of how big this megalodon tooth would have been, here it is compared to my current biggest meg tooth, which is about three inches, and this is only the corner of the tooth. So this would have been massive. So I thought I didn't find a meg today, but it turns out I actually did. I just thought it was a bone at first. So let's move on to some of the other teeth. This is my biggest testalis of the day. It's almost two inches, and it's beautiful. Found a ton of Hestalis, but this was my best one. Really love the color. This was my first tooth of the day. Another really nice one. It's very sharp and well preserved. This one's pretty nice too. And then I got these awesome cow shark teeth. These were both on the way back to the kayak after I had turned around in the creek. This was my first one and this was the second. Both really really nice teeth. A few Makos. This was my best one. I thought it was a sand tiger at first because of the root. Then I saw this protuberance. It's actually a Mako. I got this little dolphin tooth. It's actually my best dolphin tooth yet. Really happy with that. Little hemi, a couple carcharinus. And I got this colonial pipe, which is a pretty unusual find. It's not a fossil, it's more of an artifact, but still really cool. Moving on to the bones, you can see I just found a ton of bone fragments today. Most of them are just miscellaneous fragments that aren't really identifiable probably just pieces of rib, but I did get some really cool ones like this fish vert. It's pretty awesome. This is part of an epiphysis, what we call cookies. It's basically the cap of the vertebrae. This is an ear bone, a whale ear bone. Whales and dolphins have very specialized ear bones to help them hear underwater. They have two ear bones, the periodic and the tympanic bulla. 
and this is a tympanic bulla. Pretty awesome. This is the cervical vertebra of a whale. The epiphysis is actually slightly broken off, as you can see, on that side at least. Pretty cool. This is another small fish vert. This I got identified. It's actually a sturgeon osteoderm, kind of like an armor plate of a large fish sturgeon. It's pretty cool. Just a big chunk of rib. It's kind of broken. And then just a bunch of other pieces. So that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.